Clever. You're on four. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. to the Dream Factory. We're having a fantastic week this week and looks can be deceptive, you know. Looks in this game can be incredibly deceptive. Come over here. This is Steve and he's having a great time but he hasn't told his face yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jenny. She looks surprised because she is surprised. And this is Amy who has a vacant expression and thankfully for me, she doesn't understand what that expression means. <laughs> here, come, here come the names. <laughs> and now we're all dying to see what expression you'll have when it stops at your name. I'm apologising. You don't have a vacant expression. No. <laughs> but you didn't really understand the game for a while, did you? Well, <laughs> no. no. Uh, Amy Adamu. Yeah. That's an unusual surname. Tell me all about it. Um, it's Greek. Mm-hmm. Um, my mum's half Greek. My, um... Is she here? Yes. Which one is she? That one there. Which half is Greek? Um, <laughs> her dad. Her dad? <laughs> yeah. The top half, she's doing. <laughs> the top half's Greek, right? My my nan, which is the lady beside her. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> oh, right. I tell you what, the easiest thing to do. If you brought an army. Could you just run us along the two rows? My my mum's called Banny. Banny. Yeah, Banny Um That's my nan, Pauline. Right. I know. Yeah, and then mum. No, no, I'm Pauline. Oh, yeah, her yeah, mum. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's my little sister, Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Uh, Hello. My mum's partner, Graham. Hello, Graham. My uncle, Andreas. Hello, Andreas. That's my best friend, Amy. Hello, Amy. <laughs> my boyfriend, Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Hello. And his dad, Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> so, why have you brought so many? Because they all love me. Everyone wanted to come, so really? I said, why not? Yeah. Oh, I think that's really nice, actually. Oh, I was going to say something sarcastic, but I think that's really great. They all want some of the money. <laughs> ah, that's not so good, is it? Uh, no. No. So what have we got here? What's the first photograph? Um, that's a picture of me when I was, I think I was two. A shoe? Um, yeah. Oh. Um, with my granddad, Brian. And what was the occasion? Um... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to ask the wrong question. No, that's okay. Oh, take a deep breath. Would you rather not talk about that? No, I would like to. Sneaky yeah, bridesmaid, Amy. Here you go. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that's actually the box gone now. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was me and my granddad at my auntie Anita's wedding. Yeah. Um, and just a photo that really means a lot to me because he's not here anymore. Right. His name? Brian. Brian. Righty-ho. Here's a cheeky little face. Yeah, this one's a picture of my little brother, who's three. I just love that <laughs> photograph. That is fantastic. But yeah, that was last Christmas, and I just think it's a really lucky photo of him holding the four aces and having all the poker chips. And he's got such a cheeky grin on his face as well. 
There is a touch of Ian Hislop about him. <laughs> I mean, I can see him on Have Who's I Got that? News For You. Ian Hislop? Yeah. Who's Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> if that one got the R, this one will, oh, seriously, this one will really do you all. <laughs> that is fantastic. Um, that's my nephew, Finlay. <laughs> he was somewhat shocked by the camera. <laughs> yeah. the camera! <laughs> what are you going to do with it? <laughs> it's terrified. He does. Lovely. And here is the first moment in your game where I need you please to confirm that you chose box number three at random before this game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. That's it. That is the formality over. You've waited a long time and I guess you probably had quite a few dreams about how the game would go. Oh yeah. Yeah I have. I've had quite a few dreams. <laughs> Here comes the reality. Your game starts now. Amy, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Seems like there's so many. I know that there's 22. <laughs> Just seems, when you stood here, it's, oh, honestly, it's completely different. Oh, I'm sorry to be pedantic, but when you're standing there, there's only 21. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's one on the table. <laughs> but that could be construed as being just a little dull and boring for me to point that out. So I'll go along with the fact there's 22. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Mm. I've got a couple of numbers. Um, 22 is my granddad's birthday. Right. Um, so it's a special box, but I haven't quite worked out whether it's going to be special to get rid of a blue or a red. So, um, and I've always liked 2 and 8. They've always been lucky numbers to me for some reason. 2 and 8 have always come up. Right, it's a box that come to me first. So I'm going to go with Brad, box number 9. You all right, Brad? Please. Superb. You settled down now. I have, yeah. I'm not shaking no more. Yeah, you were the newbie yesterday, weren't I you? I was indeed, yeah. yeah. And, and it was a very tense moment, his first <laughs> pop's opening. Brad, will you please get us underway? Good luck, Amy. Thank Happy you. Smoke. How's it? It's all right. I've never really liked odd numbers. No? If ever I've had good numbers, they've always been even. Apart <laughs> <laughs> oh, from number three. No, Don't I, tell her. <laughs> number three, when I was stood there and I chose number three, Ash's dad and my nan said, three is my lucky number. Great. So that's good. Number no three fear. is good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with Eric. Box 17, please. Good luck to you, dear, and thank you for being a marvellous mummy. Aww. Oh, that's nice, Eric. <laughs> well, she looks after us. Yeah? Here Good we go. go. Yeah, that's yeah. Best of luck, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah! I'm going to go with Hazel, box 11, please. Come on, Nutty. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Abe. Thank you. Here we go. Good luck. That was middling to good. You took the middle out of the right hand side, the rest of it was very good. Hello, banker! Oh, dear. Oh. He says I'm so cross. Oh, calm down. What are you cross about? 
Yes, they are quite emotional. He says it's costing a fortune in tissues at the moment. <laughs> yes, we do have quite an emotional group here. You're going to start charging for each tissue. <laughs> He says that picture of Finley is one of the favourite photographs that he's ever seen on the show. He uh, loves it, absolutely. <laughs> you have a collection of similar pictures. <laughs> he says he's got a collection of very, very similar pictures to this. All he does is tie a camera to the bonnet of his car and drive down the pavement. <laughs> suddenly saw a car coming down the pavement, what expression would you have on your face? I think your eyes would be standing out like, what is going on? <laughs> yes, she doesn't like odd numbers, but she's got the number three and it's her favourite. <laughs> yes, because that actually is the number of times we had to explain the rules to you. <laughs> You're a great sport with a great opening round. Your first offer is nine and a half thousand. He'd like to buy at nine and a half. I've got a really good board there, and that's that's power of five are gonna stay there before his day. So you can ask me the question. Nine and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Hooray! What's your name? Nadie? Nadie. Nadie. This is it. Nadie. You said it right. Yeah. <laughs> Where did we get you from? Originally from Brazil. Really? I come from Portsmouth. But now from Portsmouth? Yes. Good lucky. Thank you. Box 19, please. Good luck, Amy. Thank I you. Hopefully. Ah, 75,000 is out of the game. It was actually on the table yesterday. Clearly, it's not part of your future. We're going to take a break. Amy, I can tell. You've planned something. You've been dreaming of this moment. You've been, think <laughs> you've been thinking about your game. So undoubtedly, you will have an immaculate, truly brilliant throw to the break. Come back and watch me win lots of dough. And don't forget, there's always no. <laughs> one way or another. Uh, Amy, where are we going for your third box to complete this section? I think I'm going to go box number 10. Grouper. <laughs> Good luck, Amy. Thank you. Oh. Sounds good. Looks awful. Well, 
Uh, I'm not quite sure why people were applauding that. That was horrible. Yes, it was. After such a brilliant start. Well, I don't think you're going to get nine and a half now. Hello. What sounds good? No, the 50,000 and the groan. Yeah, big hole on the right. Top two still in play. Ooh, I say. He says far too early for him to get complacent. He must be doing something right. He's only come down to 8,000. Yeah, well worth a... Ooh, what's going on there? It's a good offer, isn't it? It is a pain, but you've got lots of blues to hit there, haven't you? Yeah. There's, there's no way I'm going in the second round anyway, because I've still got really good numbers. Well, let's get on with it then. Ask me the question, Noel. Eight thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Come on, let's get it. Right. God, I just don't know where to go. Let's go Andrew. Box six, please. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Noel. Andrew, am I right that, 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 yes, you're, no, sh sh that, that you're a minister? Well, I do, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're an Anglican minister. I am, yes. Give me a quick blessing. I think you're really good, actually. I, I do, I love them all. Yeah, I love everybody, really. <laughs> I hope this is a 1P, actually. Because <laughs> you'd like to express your love. I would like to express it, yes. <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble. I hope the bishop's not watching. <laughs> okay. Andrew, thank you very much. Good luck, darling. Thank you. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. thousand has created a very large hole there. You desperately need to get up top left now. Michael, box 16, please. Thank you. Oh, rah! Rah. Ten right. grand at this point, you want to hold on to it. Such a strange game deal. 10,000 going in the open. Room. Right, box seven, Kim, please. Okay, Kim, desperate for a turnaround now. You will be a blue. To lose 50, 75, 100,000 in such quick succession, it's not going to be wonderful. But you still can see the confetti. That's the wonderful thing about this game. You can have a bad patch in the game, but you can still go away with massive money. Hello. But yeah, it was saving grace was the final box. Oh, he's saying you dodged a bullet there. Oh! He thinks there could be a third offer deal. He'd like to do a deal with you. He's going to stick at 8,000. That is amazing. He's saying the 1P has balanced things. He'd like your box for 8,000 pounds. This, I mean, in November, me and Ash want to go travelling and that's how much I have to save. I'm, like, working three jobs at the moment to save and what I said is I come here to ensure that I didn't have to do that. So that I could go travelling without working all these jobs and all these hours. So, it's a lot of money, but... 
I think I've got an old blue to come out of there. I think if I went now, it would be too early. Ask me a question. £8,000. Deal or no deal? It's a smashing offer. But no deal. <laughs> I'm gonna go. See the numbers that I liked. I'm keeping, but Kim was one of the numbers I liked, and it was the penny. So I'm thinking, should I go the other way and get rid of them? And they'll be all blue, hopefully. And that's why they were my lucky numbers. That's one way of looking at it. Let's go, Shahid. Box number two, please. We feel we can have an all blue round. Can you give us the first one? Okay. Right, you've been a top neighbour. All the best. Start to your all blue round. Let's go for Ruth box 18, please. Thank you, Ruth. Good luck on all the best. Thank you. We want the second blue. a lot better and we said you needed an all blue round and you've almost got the perfect blue round can you find 50p and complete the three lowest in a single round it'll give you a massive advantage where are you going i'm going to go with may box may. eight we believe this will be an all blue round and wouldn't it be fantastic if it was the 50p may Open the box. After the break. <laughs> See you. You'll be back for this. I was worried about you a short time ago because I thought your confidence was going. We're right on the edge of the all blue round. Then I went for a cliffhanger before the break and May moved a lot faster than I thought she would go to. I can't offer you the option to change your mind because May got to the seal even though we have not seen the contents. May? Complete the manoeuvre, please. I hope this is the blue. I oh, so after, after this build-up, we are praying that it's blue. about it you took out the three lowest at a perfect oh. time hello it was genuinely incredible the banker says best run we've ever had is it oh. yeah best four box run that we've ever had we had the one p didn't we yeah because you had the yeah. one p Doing amazing stuff, amazing stuff. I think. 
think from what he's saying, he'd like to purchase, and believe me, he really would like to purchase your box for £14,000. Would that allow you to do some nice things in your life? Yeah, definitely. I don't have any money. <laughs> There's so many things I want to do as well. I've got a rusty old car that I'd like to replace. I'd love to go travelling. I'd love to help my mum. I'd like a Chanel handbag. <laughs> I've been lots and lots. See, it's a really, really good offer, but I feel like I'm on a roll now. I feel like... OK, yeah. I'm on a roll. <laughs> sort of duty-bound to remind you it can go the other way, but it, it feels like one of our better turnarounds, this. It's a really good offer, though, and it, the money is just does mean so much to me. It really does. I just think I'm only ever going to be here once, aren't I? You could be number three. See, I, I had a dream about an amount of money. And that dream could still come true. Amy, if you feel that you want to go on, then go for it. That's what you feel you want to do, it's your game. Amy, I think you've got 303 grand on the board there. So on average, there's eight boxes left. You're talking each box is worth 38 grand. If my maths is right there, 14 grand is offered. The problem is, all the money is down in that bottom right hand corner. If you can avoid that big one, this next round, your offer's gonna be massive. Yeah. Let's see if you've got the confidence to do that. mummies that we've ever had. You've been a wonderful mummy. He thinks the rational, sensible side of you should win out. He rang to say that uh, he and I are very different, quote, because, Noel, you wouldn't say that if she had an all-blue round, I would double it to 28,000. Unquote. But of course I do have to tell you that because that's what he just said. He's saying if you can find three of the remaining four blues, your next offer will be £28,000. Double what you're considering. Amy, I would ask you please to think about what is good for Amy. £14,000. Are you ready for the question? Yeah. £14,000. Deal or no deal? Deal. Yeah! an exercise where we will prove the wisdom of that decision. Next box. Um, I would have gone with 14, Christy. Okay, Christy, recently we've had an amazing run of games where post-deal people have proved in the first box that it was a good idea. I'd love it to be one of those games. Three grand. No, 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 that would have been fine. Rem 
remember she's dealt. Three grand would have been fine. We would have been saying, find two blues now and you're going to get a massive offer. I would have gone Caroline, box 12. All right, Caroline, this is going to go horribly wrong if the next two are blues. Please, quarter of a million pounds. Yes. 15, no, I don't know why someone shouted yes. It's the quarter of a million we've got to get. You've got to get the quarter of a million in this box. Come on, Amy. They're in box four, Huddy. You going to Huddy? Yeah. Yep. Okay, he's had it recently. Let's hope you've got it again. what you would have produced if you had gone on. No way would you be offered £14,000. It's beginning to feel as if you have made the perfect deal. Hello. This lot do have great timing at the moment, yet we've had some epic games where the timing has been perfect. There's a, a something pricking in your mind, yes? <laughs> yes, what's that then? You could be wrong. Oh, yes, she said that she'd had a dream about an amount. Uh, I'll ask. Um, when you mentioned that, of course, the board was different. Um, it led him to the conclusion that probably the sum of money in the dream was 35,000. No. no. No? What was it? It was 110. Four different degrees in human psychology. <laughs> you, you consider yourself a genius at reading people. <laughs> he just said, Amy, you are illegible. <laughs> and well done, because this offer would have been two and a half grand at this point. <laughs> The only scenario we're now dreading is that 35,000 is on the table. Come on, three boxes, let's prove it isn't. Prove it's out there, in the wings. Where do you want to go? 21, 20, 22 or 30? Um, I would have gone 21. Okay, first, come Mark. on, Mark. Prove that you've got 35,000. No, it's a banker spanking if we can find it. Um... Then I would have gone 20, Gaz. Come on, Gaz. Starting to get a little bit tense here. Prove it's not behind us. Yeah! <laughs> One more. Oh, One more. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, 13, Dan. I'm so pleased you, Amy. Well done. Well done, Dan. Thank you. 250. So look at that. You did. <laughs> I'm so pleased you realised that bit. Yeah, yeah. There you go. She's realised. She spanked you. <laughs> you did get spanked good and proper. You're having a bad week, aren't you? Monday, thirty thousand. Yesterday, twenty-six thousand. Now fourteen thousand. Out of a game that at this point you would have been offering what? 22 quid! <laughs> and we know that you've either got a tenner in there or you've got 50 pounds in there. Which do you think? Um. I wish I hadn't asked. <laughs> Would you like me to do a sweep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amy, you have played a brilliant game. Thank you. How you managed to extract <laughs> so much money out of it, I don't know, but you brought to the table 10 <laughs> So a little bit of money for the family, a little bit of a holiday, 
Yes. Uh, we'll, when I go travelling, so that'll pay for my travelling and I'll be able to not work so much. Um, hopefully get a little new car and just treat a few people and just have fun. Well, great. So yeah. you're, you're going to squeeze a lot out of yeah, 14 grand. Definitely. <laughs> car holiday, eight members of the family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I want to go to Tiffany's in New York. <laughs> £14,000! Yeah. However you spend it, enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just left with this overwhelming feeling. Does she fully understand this experience? Because that was an astonishing result given that set of circumstances. We're on a real roll. This is a lot of fun. See you tonight. Well, next tonight, a tantrum on the post-trip. It's all handbags.